My name is Scott McCoy. I'm 26 years old. In June, I will be three years for me as a firefighter on the job, on the trucks. I love being a firefighter. It can be a very rewarding job at times. It can be very hard at times, but I work hard and it's nice to be able to see hard work pay off and this job does show you that a lot. So it makes it very worth doing. My name is Dave McCarthy. I am 51. My, I'm in my 32nd year right now. I love it. It can be exciting, for sure, and it can be different. Teams for us um, are really important. They keep you safe. It's essential. It's not important, it's essential. You can't do it any other way. Teamwork's so important for our service because uh, we couldn't possibly do our job individually. I mean, it's, it's the whole thing is based around teamwork. You can't. Everything we're trained on to do is not, you have to have a team to make it work. I mean, you, we do have self-survival, stuff like that, but um, you should always be in a team because you always need a guy there for you, the things that we face. My name's Herc. My name's Brad. Let's just say I'm seasoned. <laughs> I, I'm above, I'm older than him. 32. <laughs> There's a saying, if you, like what you do, you never work a day in your life, and there's a lot of truth to that. I love what I'm doing, just as most of the other guys do. Yeah, it's a fantastic job. What does it mean to you when you have the potential to save other people's lives? That's huge. That's huge. You know, knowing that you've, you've accomplished something. It's about accomplishing something. Doing, saving lives is a, is, is a huge deal, right? you know? When, you, when that opportunity comes, yeah, you feel great, you know, it's, it's just an awesome feeling. You know, I remember when I first got on, we, we had this uh, a VSA, which means vital signs absent. Basically, somebody had a heart attack and died, and, and we went, and uh, we brought this guy back. Police actually came to the hall and said that this guy's going to live, so uh, awesome. It's a great feeling. Yeah. Uh, well, I actually had a, a newborn that I resuscitated, uh, which was very, uh, you know, amazing experience. Just to know that it was actually my two hands that kind of brought the baby back to life. Um, but yeah, I mean, just kind of the, how rewarding that is, this experience that I'll never forget. And, you know, I can always look back to it. <clears throat> it kind of makes everything all worth it, I guess, when you, when you go through uh, experiences like that. Oh, it's a huge, a huge responsibility, um, and it makes you feel really great if you know that you can make a difference in somebody's life to help someone. And that's why this job is so rewarding because you do have that, you do hold that potential for other people. That's very, I think that's very important. Yeah, I think it's a good, uh, it's it's definitely a great feeling um, to to help someone, to save them. That's one of the reasons why I want to do what I want to do. It's, it was very, um, to help people who are in need, I think is human nature, no doubt, um, where you can, but to, to do it as a, for a job and do it as almost, almost every day, it's, um, yeah, it's very rewarding, yeah. I don't find it that stressful doing what I do. Um, I find, stressful situations more in other people's emotions when I get to calls and stuff like that like watching the um, friends and family of people who are not well more more stressful than I find um, um, me being stressed out necessarily yeah but that just comes with the job you sort of kind of deal with it and try to yeah deal with it inside and if you can't then uh, move along and uh, hopefully you know, it doesn't stress you. Yeah, That's you it. Well. Uh, said, why do you risk your life at the possibility to save another person's life? I would have to say that I don't really consider it risking my life. Um, I, at least I don't I don't personally think about it that way in those terms that I'm we have a lot of safety measures that we use and have with regards to fighting fires and where we go yeah yeah you know what 
it would be dangerous, but if I was to think like that, I probably wouldn't be very effective at what I do. So I, I, it doesn't pop into my head very much that I'm, that's actually what I'm doing. I suppose I am, but I don't think of it in those terms. Do you enjoy sliding down the firefighter's pole? That's my favorite part, actually. I'm glad you asked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. It's it's sometimes in the summer we wear shorts, and it gets a little difficult when you wear shorts sliding down the pole just because your legs are wrapped around. Well, no, that no, it's carpet burns. What is the best fire station prank you've seen, and have you been a part of one? The best fire station oh, oh, prank. Oh, prank? Well, I was at a different hall before this, and there was rumors that the hall was haunted. So there was one guy who kind of seemed a little bit on edge. He was relieving at the hall one day. So we set up all these little things. <laughs> one was which we got a ticking clock, and we wound it up, and we put it in a locker. And so where this guy was sleeping, there'd be this ticking clock all night long. We set up a pot in the shower and had the water dripping <laughs> into this pot. And then we had a chest, there was a chest board that was for every reason beside his table, or beside his bed. And throughout the shift, we were changing the <laughs> pieces to see if you would catch on. And then we, um, we, uh, at one point during the night, we turned the TV on full blast and they had, I don't know why, there's these little fire trucks. And so we had the fire trucks placed in front of the TV. So when you flip the light on, there's the TV would be on and the, these fire trucks <laughs> looking like a kid had played the fire trucks all night long. Nice. So, oh, and then we had the windows open. We had it so like someone was just like ticking against the window, just from the, from the wind. That's cool. <laughs>